हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डायनेमिक प्राइमरी एलोकेशन यूजिंग न्यू एंड डिलीट ऑपरेटर्स इन सी प्लस प्लस सो इफ यू आर फेसिंग प्रॉब्लम इन वॉचिंग द क्लियर वीडियो यू कैन एडजस्ट द स्क्रीन रिजर्वेशन बाय गोइंग द गोइंग इन टू द सेटिंग्स ऑफ यूट्यूब चैनल सो एडजस्ट द स्क्रीन रिजर्वेशन सो दैट यू कैन क्लियरली वॉच दिस वीडियो now i am uh, going to discuss about my uh, information with you so you can uh, uh, note down my contact number and email id for uh, discussion purposes you can visit my website techimage.in you can download my app techimage from google play store it contains various tutorials regarding c c++ java php etc you can download ppts from tutorials.techimage.in you can read various books which i have authored and you can subscribe and watch my youtube channel so use these information for your study and placement purposes now coming on to the topic which is dynamic memory allocation so uh, in this slide the requirement of dynamic memory allocation is also available so first point says size of array must be declared at compile time so uh, i think you all know about uh, uh, arrays which we have already studied in c language so in c Uh, array uh, are declared as static as well as in C++ it is also declared as static. Static means the memory will be allocated at compilation time. Uh, so the problem uh, which we have faced, we cannot increase or decrease its size at runtime. So to overcome this problem, uh, we can overcome this problem by assigning size of an array at runtime. So instead of assigning size of array at compilation time. Uh, we can assign the size of array at runtime and this concept is known as dynamic memory allocation so in c++ a special operator which is new is used to perform dynamic memory allocation so new is a keyword as well as operator through which we can perform dynamic memory allocation now here uh, is a simple example of dynamic memory allocation so remember that for dynamic memory allocation we have to use pointer always because uh, we are going to allocate memory at run time and whenever we allocate run time memory then uh, a particular address will be allocated at run time and that address will be received only through pointer so in this slide two variables uh, size and pointer p are declared then with the help of see out you can display message enter size of array then with the help of see in you can read size of array now this last statement is important in this uh, statement new operator is used to allocate a memory at run time int is indicating type of blocks which we are going to allocate and size is indicating number of blocks and the base address of that uh, allocated memory will be stored inside p it means after memory allocation if uh, you want to access each location of that uh, allocated array then you can use p pointer for that purpose so after a memory allocation uh, you also have to understand memory deallocation so uh, we can destroy dynamic allocated memory using delete operator so that the free memory can be used by another program so uh, if you are uh, allocating uh, memory at run time then you can also deallocate it run time uh, with the help of this delete uh, operator and you have to write the pointer's name uh, along with the delete so uh, you have to note that delete and new both are keywords also so after this theoretical discussion uh, now i am uh, going to uh, discuss a program which is uh, uh, implemented with the help of new and delete operators so the objective is read n numbers and display them by dynamic memory allocation so first header file uh, is used then namespace is used then class name array then int pointer p and size these are attributes which are private by default then in public section four functions set size read show and destroy are uh, declared so set size will will uh, will be uh, defining memory allocation and destroy will be defining memory deallocation and read will read elements of array and show will display the elements of array so now you can see that Uh, this first function is uh, allocating uh, allocating memory at runtime 
so it is receiving size uh, inside s then s will be assigned into size then with the help of this statement dynamic memory allocation will be performed so new for dynamic memory allocation int for type and size for quantity and the address will be received by p pointer then this read definition is uh, very clear for you uh, inside this uh, definition a loop is used which will uh, which will repeat uh, size times suppose size is 5 so it will re repeat 5 times and each element will be stored with the help of p of i then show function it is uh, similar to uh, read function but here uh, see out is used in place of seen and uh, the elements will be displayed with the help of pi then uh, fourth function is destroy and uh, this function delete p is used so delete p will deallocate the allocated memory uh, which is uh, which is acquired uh, by the program at run time so uh, whenever the scope of uh, program or main function will be terminating then uh, this delete p will be executed and it will destroy all the allocated memory of run time then main function is defined in main function object a is declared then count variable is of integer type then we have to read size of array from user for that that purpose scene see out uh, has been used then set size function uh, is called which will receive counted value uh, sorry which will receive the size of array as count uh, variable inside it so this function is responsible for dynamic memory allocation then read function will read elements of array show function will print elements of array and this destroy function will deallocate it uh, deallocate the dynamically allocated memory so uh, this is the simple implementation of dynamic memory allocation and dynamic memory deallocation and for allocation we have used new operator and for deallocation we have used delete operator so uh, this is the output of the program so uh, it is uh, almost clear uh, or easy to understand size of array is 4 then uh, 11 12 13 14 uh, is the input and again output will be same 11 12 13 and 14 so uh, uh, with the help of this example you can implement uh, uh, other programs also so here is a practice work for you first program says write a program to read n numbers from user and find out maximum and second is write a program to read two 1d arrays from user and store their sum into third array using dynamic memory allocation so you have to implement uh, both the programs using dynamic memory allocation and deallocation you can also watch my practical implementation videos uh, to understand the solution of these uh, problems so implement the programs uh, in your laptop or desktop because programming needs practice again you can note down my information for your study and placement purposes so thank you for watching this video